What is a Ghostbusters movie? Is it the flight suit? Is it Bill Murray? Is it the car? Is it the ghost? Is it the terror dog? Is it the guns? Is it the music? Is it the sound effects? And we wanted to make sure that we made a Ghostbusters movie for everybody. Uh, whether this is the 100th time you're seeing Ghostbusters or if this is your first Ghostbusters movie, we wanted this to be for you. You're a great mom. I don't know. I'm fine with Trevor, but with Phoebe, she really keeps me on the outside. That's normal. She's an awkward, nerdy kid. Maybe a new home can be an opportunity to start fresh. I just wish she'd get into some trouble. There's still time. But we also wanted to make a movie for a new generation. Uh, a movie for the fans of Finn Wolfhard and Paul Rudd and McKenna Grace uh, that set off a Ghostbusters uh, film in a new location and on a new adventure. What are you doing here in Somerville anyway? We're completely broke. And our grandfather left us this creepy old farmhouse in the middle of nowhere. Your father wasn't much of a homemaker. He could hardly keep the power on. You're saying he left us nothing? Well, I wouldn't say nothing. You went with the station wagon? It's the only one that had an engine. It was completely intimidating. Ghostbusters has been a part of my life since I was seven years old on the set of the original movie. And the thought of trying to make a sequel to my father's movie had always intimidated me to the point of not even getting close to it. And eventually I just had an idea I couldn't get away from. And I don't think it's an accident that I'm the son of a Ghostbuster and I've made a movie about the children and grandchildren of Ghostbusters. Go, go, go! We're closed.